Hello, my name is Christopher Smith. I'm making this video as an attempt to streamline the process of downloading your raw DNA from Ancestry.com and then uploading it to the Morley Y-DNA haplogroup predictor. The reason we want to do this is it will allow you to, uh, if you're a man, have an estimate of what your Y-DNA haplogroup is without going through uh, and purchasing a full Y-DNA test with terminal SMP uh, test at FamilyTree.com. Uh, not only is this a cost-saving measure, it also allows us to uh, compare our Y-DNA lines to other autosomal matches on Ancestry.com and other websites that use the Illumia chip. Essentially what this will allow us to do is if we are doing research of surnames such as Jones, Smith, Brown, etc., uh, it will allow us to identify autosomal matches that match or do not match the uh, same larger haplogroup uh, as our Y-DNA line. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first thing we need to do is uh, navigate to our main DNA page on Ancestry.com and let's go ahead and go to the settings button and let's click the raw DNA, download raw DNA data button. Once we do this we type in our password and we hit I understand and confirm that's going to send a link to our email address that is associated to our Ancestry.com account and from there we will be able to click on the link. I'm not going to go through this process because it would involve logging into my email and I don't want to do that in this video um, but you will click on the link and then download the .zip file the .zip file will look similar to this right here it will have the prefix DNA-data the year, the month, and the day that you downloaded your file and that will be your raw DNA results for use with a number of other sites uh, specifically we're going to be uh, working with the Morley Y-DNA predictor. So once we have our DNA file, our raw DNA file, we're going to go navigate to the Morley.com, MorleyDNA.com uh, YSNP subclade predictor. You can type in MorleyDNA.com YSNP into Google and it'll take you, it looks like it's the second link there, um, at least in my browsing experience. So. Uh, but we are we are ready to begin. Um, these in, the instructions are rather straightforward. Um, let's go ahead and just click on the I consent button, and we're going to choose our DNA file. And then here is one that I downloaded a couple of days ago. It's mine. I just recently had an Ancestry.com test come back. So these are my latest results using the latest uh, versions of the testing at Ancestry DNA. And then, so once we upload the, the file, you notice it's going to extract a bunch of the RS numbers. So these RS numbers are pretty much genes that are linked to specific base pairs. It's uh, complex stuff that we don't really need to get into. But essentially, um, the reason we can do this is because the Ancestry DNA test itself actually has Y DNA information in it. It's just not the exact same data that is in a traditional Y DNA test from Family Tree DNA. Um, but we're going to take this information and we're going to move forward and just click submit. As long as you see no errors to report, you're okay. I have yet to actually see any errors come up. Um, so we're going to hit submit, and then this is going to give us some statistics about our our data set. Uh, for the most part, we can ignore them. I've saved them and tucked them away for reference, just in case I ever want to learn about what they mean. Um, but the next step we want to do is feed this data into the Morley DNA predictor, and then so here this is kind of an important step here. So. Uh, we don't want to modify, do not modify anything up here, and we want to leave the Geno 2.0 radio button checked. What we do want to do is change this from experimental to the ISOGG tree. So the ISOGG tree is uh, 
it's a more stable baseline of the Y-DNA groups. So it's going to be uh, haplogroup mappings that are more widely accepted at the moment. Uh, I've gotten some weird results with the experimental tree that are absolutely incorrect. Um, and for reference, I have Y-DNA matches at the 67 marker level on family tree DNA who have done terminal SNP analysis. So I know what the correct like high resolution values of what my Y-DNA haplogroup should be. So uh, that's how I know to use the ISOGG tree because that's going to give us the most accurate result. So let's go ahead and click on the I am not a robot and let's wiggle our mouse around a little bit and then click on the I consent button and at that point we can click predict. And so here we are. These are the results of our Y-DNA haplogroup uh, estimate. And so we look over here on the left side, the most likely is, and I can verify that this is correct, uh, this is my Y-DNA haplogroup prediction. And we can now take this value and use it to identify other male lines that do or do not match. Um, this will allow us to look at our autosomal DNA matches for people who may have the same surname but a different haplogroup and if they do not match this value then we can exclude their male lines for research. Uh, if they do match, th this is the other caveat, is if they do match this value and they do match the surname, uh, it's not a conclusive Y-DNA match, uh, but it will be a uh, first step in identifying which uh, male lines are best candidates, are the best candidates for uh, high resolution or uh, the more standardized Y DNA testing at familytreedna.com. So, uh, just for clarification, let's say we have three Smith groups, which I commonly run into, and uh, we see that one of the Smith groups is haplogroup I. And I see that I'm looking for haplogroup R Smiths. I can automatically. Uh, rule out having to examine the haplogroup I Smith group for any relatedness to the haplogroup R Smith group. And it, it's a, it saves a lot of time. It's a quantitative way of uh, figuring out which male lines are possibly related. So I hope you all find this uh, video useful and if you have any questions uh, feel free to leave a comment in the YouTube link and uh, thanks for watching.